So it's my last day before I have to get on a plane and go back to the United States and um, I have a night layover in Madrid and so I'm here in Madrid. I'm at uh, the Puerta El Sol and it's like the center of town. Um, it's huge. There's huge beautiful buildings all over the place and it's really overwhelming but it's also pretty awesome to see and I'm really liking Madrid. Um, this little hotel hotel that I'm staying at is really nice. It's called Hostel El Pilar and this is what it looks like. So yeah, I mean it's pretty small. It's not <clears throat> sorry, it's not super impressive, but compared to what I've been staying in, it's really really nice, especially the place I was in in uh, Casablanca was kind of scary. So it ha this place has uh Wi-Fi in the bedrooms and the plumbing is really nice and it's just kind of a nice a nice break before I have to get back to the United States. So um, I don't really have a lot to say, uh, I don't know why, I just, I, there's so much going through my head right now about having to go back to work and, you know, just all kinds of things like back to the United States, back to a culture that I really can't get with, even though I try my hardest, you know, to be a functioning member of that society, but it's, pretty tough for me. I mean, I don't, I don't have a lot of friends there. Um, you know, I just have my family. So yeah, it's been kind of a lo lonely time for me there in the Bay. Um, especially this past year since I came back from traveling in Egypt and Thailand. So traveling in Morocco for a month was uh, something that I really needed. And, um, it's amazing to me how, after one month traveling in Morocco, I made more friends than uh, the year that I was just living and working in the U.S. So, I don't know what that means. Uh, I'm pretty sure it has something to do with me because I know that I don't make friends easily and I probably need to work harder on that. And um, I think when I'm traveling, I have a tendency to be more friendly just because you know, I know that if I don't put myself out there, then it's just going to be harder for me in the end. So maybe I need to do that more at home. I'm not sure. But um, I'm really sad to leave Morocco. I really loved it. It's a beautiful country, beautiful people, uh, beautiful culture, um, inexpensive, laid back, incredible wilderness like the Sahara Desert there just captured my heart it was so amazing it's the kind of place like that in, in, would inspire you to like write a book or write a movie script or something I mean it's so incredible and um, yeah I'm really sad to leave I'm really gonna miss it but it's on to the next one and if I don't return to Morocco, I'm sure that I will find another place that is equally awesome, just in different ways, and um, we'll just have to see how that works out, inshallah, as they say. So, yeah, this is my last video blog before I'm back in the United States, and I don't have a whole lot of profound sentiments to share, but... I just wanted to, you know, say something, so, so there it is, and <laughs> peace out.